This video demonstrates an end-to-end -end anastomosis using a regular needle driver and 5.0 proline suture with an RB1 needle. We start the anastomosis on the outside of either side, in this case the heel of the graft on the left. And in this case we're parachuting the anastomosis, meaning we're not going to tie down the knot for the first pass of the suture. We're careful to avoid locking the suture and keep our orientation such that we're on one side of the running suture and not the other or crossing back and forth. After the first few throws of the suture are placed, then we'll pull the graft pieces together and secure them down with the suture. It's important to actually support the two pieces of graft or blood vessels and not just simply pull up on the suture and let the suture do the work of pulling them together. As each throw is done, we're careful not to leave the needle tip inside the vessel, but instead to aim for the open space outside of the blood vessel. And we generally will pull up when the suture is on the outside of the vessel, such that we evert the edges. After getting out of the corner, then we'll switch to the other side and continue along in the running fashion. Again, careful to leave the needle so that it's exposed outside the lumen of the vessel and not having to reach inside. When proper positioned, the bites can be taken in one rather than in two different bites. And it's important that we watch and make sure that our spacing is appropriate in case we need to travel on more on one side than the other. This should be judged before getting to the corner such that the corners line up appropriately as they do in this case. Equal bites of equal distance and equal spacing are the goals to have a nice, even suture line. Notice as well that to expose the edges of the vessel for proper suturing, many times you don't have to grasp the actual edge of the vessel wall. And in fact, you can grasp the middle of the vessel and distract the two edges apart by rotating that one way or the other to get it exposed. Lastly, you want to secure your suture line with a properly tied knot. Initially, it will start off with a slip knot and then lock that with at least five throws of suture. Practice outside the operating room so you're better able to handle the needle and more facile with suturing to enable better experience when you get into the operating room. Thank you for watching this video.